Introduced into Utah Lake in the 1880s as a food source for struggling pioneers, the common carp is native to Eurasia but has been widely introduced into the U.S., including many in Utah waters. Nowadays, carp are mostly seen as an unappetizing bottom dweller and a pest that breeds fast, stirs up lake muck, and crowds out native and sport fish. In 2009, the DWR started what is believed to be the nation's biggest carp removal project at Utah Lake. Biologists hope to remove 3 million pounds of carp a year as they try and save the rare and endangered June sucker. As they feed along the lake bottom, carp tear up vegetation that provides vital hideouts for young June suckers looking to avoid predators. The amount of sunlight received by plants also decreases, reducing their growth, and as plants disappear, so do the waterfowl which depend upon them for food. Carp are the only species of fish in Utah where you're allowed to shoot with bow and arrow. Spring is a great time to chase this fish with a fly rod or a bow. Many fly fishers refer to them as the Rocky Mountain Bonefish for their ferocious fight. For more information on carp or any other critter found here in Utah, be sure to check out our outdoors page at ksltv.com. Boy, the walleye spawn is the first indication that spring is here. The walleye fill it, and with this sun, I'm starting to fill it. Let's check that recreation forecast now by turning it over to Kevin in the weather department.